1846. So it's the spring of 1846. This group came down from Polk County in May, goes down to the Umpqua and comes back. In June, a much bigger party with the Appalachians again comes down and they go, remember they, they cross in Monroe, go through Eugene, head south all the way down. Now, the same time they're going south and then heading east, along comes the Skinners. Now the Skinners were back in the Midwest and in 1845, they decided they want to come out west. So, well, they came over the mountains and see, they, they decided to go to California, and so their wagon train split, part headed for Oregon, part they went to California. They got down there, and they were helped over the last part of the trip by some, some helpers that John Sutter had sent out. Now, the Skinners show up uh, that fall, and uh, actually Eugene Skinner went to work for Sutter, and Sutter's diary, which is available, talks, mentioned several times, he mentioned Eugene Skinner building a door, or building this or building that. And there's a watch we have here that people claim was given to Skinner by Sutter, but we don't know if that's true. Okay, so that was, they spent the winter 45, 46 there. But then they realized because this was Mexican, there was no way an American was allowed to claim land. And so he said, there's no use staying there. So the spring of 1846, while the explorers are heading south from Polk County, the Skinners and their friends made up a party, including Elijah Bristow, who was the first settler here too, and they came north. And so here you have these two groups, but they didn't meet because they were on two different trails. So Skinner and his friends didn't go through Eugene, they came right along here up to Polk County, and then they still weren't satisfied. So Skinner and a couple friends went down, and this time they went over around Eugene and went out to Pleasant Hill and Bristow says, God, this, this is just like home. This is a beautiful valley. I'm going to settle right here. And that's Pleasant Hill. Well, then Skinner and the other two guys, they, they went around. Finally, Skinner still wasn't satisfied till he went back to what we call Skinner Butte. And they went up on top of Skinner Butte and he looked around and he said, this is beautiful. This is just like being inside of a bird's nest because you can see the mountains surrounding us. And so here we are, sheltered by the mountains around us like in a bird's nest. And then he says, you know, this land is good enough for Eugene Skinner and his family. Okay, so he claimed that. So then they went back up to Polk County. And they see, this is in, in uh, this, this is the summer of 46. Then he came back down in October with some friends to build the cabin. So Skinner and some friends built this cabin right there by the butte and also evidently sowed a little wheat and then went back up north to spend the winter with Mary, and at that time they had a brand new baby. So if you think about it, Mary Skinner traveled this route pregnant, about to have a baby. 